Okay, today we're going to practice the review on normal distribution. And the first thing you do when you have a normal distribution is to draw the bell-shaped curve. And I'm going to put a number line underneath. We put a bar down the middle of the curve. And then we put three bars to the right and three bars to the left. Now if we look at this problem here, Sarah's basketball team had a mean score of 118 points and a standard deviation of 16 points. In the normal distribution, the mean goes in the middle of the curve on the number line at the bottom of the curve. Then we add the standard deviation to the mean. As we go to the right, we keep adding 16. So this one is 134. The next one is 150. And then 166. Then to go to the left, we're going to subtract 16. So our first one is 102. 118 minus 16. Our next one is 86, and then the last one is 70. So we have our number line filled out. Remember, these numbers go on these bars. Those are your div you know, dividing lines. Then we put our percentages. There's 68% of the data within one standard deviation of the mean. That means each side here is 34%. There's 95% of the data in, within two standard deviations. So this piece is 13.5 and this piece is 13.5. Within three standard deviations is 99.7%. So this piece is 2.35% and this piece is 2.35%. And then the last tell here, to add up to 100%, these are 15 hundredths of a percent. Now these should be percent signs because of room. I'm not writing the percent signs on each one. Now to solve these problems, number four, to figure out the probability of um, selecting a game where they scored between 102 and 134. So here is 102 and here is 134. So I can shade in the area between those two numbers, and I see that that is within one standard deviation, 34 plus 34, which is 68%. So number four is 68%. Number five, notice the notation here has an X in the middle there, so that means the same thing as number four. X is between 86 and 150. So 86 to 150 is this area here. Now we can add all of these up, but I know that because that's two standard deviations to the right and left, following the empirical rule, that is 95% of the data. And then the last one, at least 102, means at least means that's the smallest amount, so it's 102 or more. So we start at 102 and we shade everything to the right of that, okay? And then we add all of these percentages, 34 plus 34 plus all of these, or you can just halfway is 50 and then add 34, but you should get 84%. And that's how you find probabilities using a normal distribution.